All right, so here's the third video. It'll probably be in order. I don't know why I said third. Of the um, stuff that I got when I went to the flea market in Lexington. Now, if you're going to the flea market in Lexington, it is spread out. It's on Tuesday. You better get there early. It's from sunrise until the dealing's done. I'll try to post that picture on all these as far as um, the little picture of the, of the thing that's up there that you can read about it. Um, this is my favorite bag so far. So, um... I met a really cool dude that had a bunch of toys out there, like really old, good stuff. Good stuff from my age or in the 90s. So I already, you're like, well, don't you already have Pocahontas? Yes, yes, I do. I have a taller Pocahontas. This one, her hair is obviously chopped off. Mine's a lot longer. She was $10, but he gave it to me for $6, so I bought some more stuff. Um, she looks pretty rough, but I'm thinking like either I can wig her or I can maybe... She's got a really hard head, so I don't know if I could, if I was wanting to learn how to what is it called? I want to say braid. That's not it. Um, root hair. Uh, she would. I was thinking at first. Oh, she's got a big head, so should we use her root? Whew, that head's really hard though. So uh, she needs some work. Um, I'm thinking those wigs that came with Liv, they may work. I want to try those out. Um, but I'm gonna have to wash her. My hands feel so dirty already from touching the other two bags. So. All right, this is Cloudburst. Yes, I already have one. Um, he kind of just gave it to me. He's like, oh, you can just have it. He's going to sell it for $2. And he's like, no, just, uh, no I think he, I think I did buy this for $2. So I was like, I can, I can repaint this. It'd be uh, something to practice repainting on. His arms do have that stickiness to them because they're that softer rubber or softer plastic. There's, uh, he's missing his blue belt, his weapons, his blue helmet. Um, yeah, but I know who Cloudburst is. I've had, I have my own. All right, I want to save that for last. <laughs> the next one. He didn't know who this was, and I told him it was Ace McCloud from Centurion's Man and Machine Power Extreme. And I already definitely have all of these, although I'm beginning to think this arm is going to break if I try to move it. It's not movable. It's either... Okay. With older toys, sometimes the paint would cause it to, you know, make it feel like it's stuck. Sometimes it's just been glued because these things break pretty easy. I have a Max Ray who's uh, one of his legs is snapped off because if you, when you see in the tub, you squeeze his legs together like a nutcracker. Um... Yeah, it's going to snap off. These legs both work, but I have a feeling this this arm's going to break off if I move it, I bet you. It's not the first time I've done this on a video. <laughs> if I if I do end up freeing it, and this was melted, I'm like, that's not natural. Some kid had fun with that. <laughs> uh, so this is the one he gave to me. He's like, well, I'll just throw that in since he felt like he couldn't sell it now. because You know, he was melted and stuff. Um... Yeah, he's really sticky. And I don't know if it's from being old or, or it's just dirty. Or however they stored this. Oh, man. I have a really bad feeling that that's been glued back on. And kind of. Okay, so look right there. That's another indicator. I think that that white stuff right there is glue remnants. So I better not try to force that. I don't know. I was thinking I can also maybe paint Ace McCloud. There's two characters we never got. I think it was John Thunder, which was my favorite. <laughs> And then there was uh, the dude that was the energy guy. So John Thunder's like the desert guy. You know, they went for the different themes. I think the other one, they're trying to make him into like a jungle or something guy. So Ace McCloud is the air guy. It was air, sea, and land at first. And they added two new guys. Oh, the glow in the dark guy was an Arctic guy. And then John Thunder was the desert guy. So it was like opposite kind of, you know, regions. Like it was a desert, which is really hot. And, um, and then there's, of course, the Arctic, which is really cold. All right. So, he also had this mask car. Now, I know this car is not in perfect condition, but I had no idea that they even made a die-cast mask car. And since it's a Mattel-made you know, mask, I'm guessing this is Hot Wheels. But, um, yeah, and it seemed like it had rubber tires at one time because, you know, you got that little thin ribbon right there. Or it could have been something that was on a... No, it's, too, it's made out of die-cast. They would never make slot cars out of die-cast. Plus, there's no slot on the bottom. I was thinking, like, these would be, like, on train track wheels. And the wheels... Man, they're, they're just really gone. I mean, there's not much there. And it's been chipped off, so it's in pretty rough condition. I think this was originally like $3 whenever he had it on the thing. Of course, I got all this for like 25 bucks total. And then this is another one. This is Hunk. Or no, no, this is Keith. I thought it was Hunk at first. This is Keith from uh, Go Lion. I think he had $9 on it. I thought it was $6. Maybe it is $6. Cause it says Keith that way. But again, um, so I have a Keith figure. I have a Pidge figure. Uh, I have had pitch figure since I was a kid for some reason. Um, so I think Keith's, I only have two figures of the actual Lion Force themselves, of the Voltron Force Lion group. 
Of course, they never made any for the other group. That would be 15 figures. Um, but this is one of the originals, and I have the uh, Castle Lines playset. On a nice day, although with all these bugs, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out there. On a nice day, I might try to get my Castle Lines out and get outside and interview it or review it for you guys. Uh, Castle Lines is an absolutely amazing playset. Um, I still have it from my childhood. If I had to pick between the Castle Lines and Castle Grayskull, I'm picking Castle Lines. Actually, out of all of the playsets, Castle Lines is the best. Now, here's something that um, if it wasn't for a YouTuber, my side of the laundry room YouTuber, I would have never known these existed. But when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh. It's a Galaxy Warrior Demon Demon Mag. I don't know what that means. He had it for just $10. I was like, um, heck yeah, this is leaving with me. So uh, I'm going to try to make sure I tag my side of the laundry room. He's a YouTuber. It's fun to watch. Go watch him, guys. Um, this is not in the perfect condition, but, you know, it's heavy. It's really metal. It's made out of metal. Except, obviously, his loincloth is made out of plastic. And it looks like it's backwards, actually, which is really strange. Like, it's bigger in the front than the back. And I'm not... Okay, I just went to a place where I shouldn't be going there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, so uh, his helmet feels like it's actually plastic. It feels kind of sticky. Like, um, like, yeah, see how it's scratched off right there? But his metal, his arms... His chest, his legs, of course, his feet are part of the legs. That's all metal right there. That's extremely heavy. And, of course, he's old, so he's worn out. And I think he put down, he knew what it was. He said he didn't see it on eBay except for one, and it was in better condition. It sold, like, $70. And I was like, yeah, I, I was like, well, it looks like something I used to have when I was a kid. I was kind of like, like, uh, like, yeah, I've never, yeah, it looks like something I had when I was a kid. Because I had something I was like called Metal Men, not the comic book, but... There was these metal men that looked like shorter versions of Micronauts. And they had like little plastic UFO spaceships or one with like a treadmill. <laughs> I always thought the treadmill was a really weird spaceship. Um, but the, and the one of them was like a thing like you ski down a hill on, like a, a bobsled or something. So I, the metal men figures were very similar to this. Um, they were a bit more articulated, I remember. And there was also another metal thing when I was a kid. I, did, I only had like a few. They were Eagle Force or something like that. Uh, they were more like G.I. Joe's, sort of, but smaller, way smaller. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I, I mean, that's right there probably the biggest prize in this. I mean, there's no doubt. I love me some Pocahontas. Um, she's one. Of, she's like, I don't I don't really like Disney princesses, but I guess she's a Disney princess. But, I'm, I'm, you know, as you could tell clearly from my skin that I am Cherokee. You know, I am more Cherokee than I am anything else out of all of my... If you go back to my great-grandparents, if you take... All of them, what is it, 16 of them, the majority of them are Native American. Like There's like a Lumbee in there too, so I can't say it's all Cherokee. So there's some Lumbee and Cherokee. Um, just me, I didn't get that. <laughs> My dad's side, they're like very much Cherokee. My mom's side, very much that German skin. Um, but yeah, most of my DNA is Cherokee though. Or Native, I should say Native American. Uh, yeah, so anyway, that's one of the reasons I like Pocahontas so much. And, uh, I don't know. Which one of you thinks the best thing out of all of this? Is it this Metal Man right here, which is the Galaxy Warriors? Is it Keith? I didn't take Keith out of the package. I need to take them out so I can wash them soon. I just want to kind of leave them in the package, I guess, because, yeah, they're all sticky. It's like whoever stored them, like, they stored them in a hot area or something. Uh, the, let's see it. Let's see it out of the bag. When I was a kid, um, we used to open the doors and like they were flying. So it just kind of made sense when masks came along. It's like, well, we've been doing that all my life. So, um, yeah, this does not open like the way the actual mask car does. So what they did with this, they they took a regular, like, I don't know, Pontiac or something. What does it say? I got it upside down. I can't tell which way it goes. This is actually not Mattel. This is so weird. It's a Yaming made in Thailand Camaro. So it's a Camaro. And they just painted the mask colors. Or they give it the mask treatment. Hmm. That's very interesting. Now, if you have the actual mask toy, the, if it, the Thunderhawk, that's what it is, the doors flip up and become wings. Uh, Centurions, this is all like the best era of cartoons. Unfortunately, we never got the pretenders in the cartoons for Transformers. So, Centurions, one of the best cartoons you ever watch. Mask. This stuff is all on YouTube. Go watch this cartoon and this cartoon. And everybody likes Voltron this cartoon. Now, unfortunately, the other ones don't have a cartoon. There is a Transformer cartoon, but these are not in it except in something called Master Force. So Master Force, you can get the British dub version. 
you can definitely watch it. So this is all from the best era, period. So um, again, which one do you think is your favorite from this? If I was gonna pick cartoons, it'd be Mask. Um, if it's for toys, this is probably the most interesting. Although I do like to have another, I'd like to get a complete set of these. Now I've been eyeballing, oh my gosh, it's been 10 minutes. Sorry, I've been, I've been hammering on for 10 minutes. Um, there's a Princess Peach on a motorcycle uh, right now for $15. It looks a lot like a Princess Allura. I've been eyeballing her thinking if she goes on clearance, <laughs> she's going to be in my collection. Cause I, I mean, she looks like, she looks like Princess Allura with a helmet on and everything. So, uh, yeah, that may be added to my collection one day. Okay. Maybe, maybe I can make Voltron pretenders or he's kind of the same color and it came in there pretenders. Yeah. Anyway, so comment below, let me know which one's your favorite. Um, and again, I think this is like 25 bucks for the whole thing. It was like 10, six, three, free uh two six and then he you know of course straight rounded off from there all right thanks for watching have a great day